you to visualize is happening each time you draw that knee up is you've got your femur is in your hip socket, which is kind of like this, and your femur has a neck. So picture my fist as the top head, the ball of your femur, and we've got the neck of the femur and then the leg bone. So each time I bring the knee forward in space, my elbow is pretending to be my knee right here, this ball is recessing into that hip joint. So I want you to imagine that in the plank position, if you drew a Sharpie marker on the ball of your femur head, then each time you bring your knee forward in space, do you see how that Sharpie mark recesses into the socket on the ball? And then as you lower the knee, it comes out. So picture that in your mind's eye. It doesn't matter how high the knee comes, okay? or how many times I really want you to picture what's happening in that joint. And just so we're clear, you know, these my hips, okay? My hips, my hip joint is right here. So if I go to my phone and then go to the valley, the soft spots on either side, if I press there, I'm pressing on the top of my femur and I, I won't have any other choice if I relax but to come back into a bit of a squat and a little bit of hip flexion. So this is when you're drawing the knee up, I want to picture this is where you're moving from. It's because we've got a neck on that femur. So this is where we're moving, not out here. So this isn't my hips. I want you to think like hip joint right where that femur head is moving in the socket, okay? So into that plank position you're up on your toes you're going to recess it and plant it recess and plant doesn't need to be a ton of work i just want there to be enough resistance that you can really picture how that leg is moving in the pelvis okay then we're going to switch sides if it helps you to be able to feel that head, that ball of the leg, let the knee turn out a little bit or let the knee turn in a little bit. Really want you to connect into just lateral and above that pubis bone where that femur bone is moving. Okay, nice. Now, um, we're gonna stay with working with those uh, hips and playing with here, coming forward, hands are on the stairs, feet are gonna come on the stairs, and we're gonna lower the knees towards the stairs, but they're just in a bit of a hover. So you might find that your hands can be on the stairs that they're on, or they might need to come up so you can feel those shoulders. From here, what you're going to play with, moving at the hip joint and the shoulder joint, dropping down towards the heels, and then reaching through the heels to press you back up. Okay, and it might surprise you how much work this is for the legs, but it also offers a very clear feeling of the head to the tail relationship. So picture those Sharpie markers recessing into the hip socket, reach through the heels. Spine is as quiet as it can be. So you don't want to, as you lower down, be rounding through the low back to then come up. Find your neutral pelvis position somewhere between that 12 and 6 o'clock and lower and come up. Okay, well done. We're going to add a piece onto that in that as we lower, we're going to take one hand off the stairs and touch the opposite knee. Then we're going to come back up, reset. Okay, we're just going to do a couple of those. And if you find that you're feeling 
uh, connected through the legs. Um, you could explore, we've had the band on the ball of the foot. You'd explore what it feels like to have it across the heels. That might have the relationship from the feet to the hip socket be a little clearer and you'd be able to feel your spine a little clearer. The other option with the band is it could be on your wrists so that um, it gives you some connection and proprioception through the shoulders. So play around with where the band is as you do this movement. And again, like we're always doing, you know, choose the place where today in this practice, it helps connect pieces of you. It helps make the movement clearer. It helps you feel more kind of global uh, work rather than just one muscle kind of screaming at you, okay? And where the breath then can be kind of easy. So I'm gonna play with it around my heels for this hand tap variation. So I'm coming up onto that bottom stair. Knees are bent. And I'm gonna to start to lower the hips. Take a hand off tap. Coming back up. Lower, tap. Coming back up, lower, tap, coming back up. Maybe you're tapping on the inside edge of that opposite knee. Maybe instead of reaching for the knee, you tap the opposite shoulder. Or the bottom ribs on the opposite side. Okay, again, play around with it. Find the variation that helps you be connected through your core and spine. Find the work in the legs. Feel that head to tail relationship. Whew. Okay. That'll get the, the heart rate up. So that's just a super simple sequence um, that you can do using the stairs that really works with the lower body and that head to tail relationship. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.